Well, the clock is ticking for the Ohio legislature to redraw the state's congressional maps. News 5's John Kosick has an update on the progress so far. The new maps presented by the Group Fair Districts Ohio would give Republicans a 9-6 edge compared to the 12-3 Republican margin in the maps rejected by the state Supreme Court. Out of that 9-6 likely split, though, six of those seats would be competitive based on past votes within a few points. The map was drawn up by a citizen map maker from New York. Fair Districts Ohio says it meets the constitutional requirements called for by voters in 2018 and the asks presented by the state Supreme Court last month. So do they think there's a chance the Republican-controlled legislature will run with this map no we um are not going into this you know naive pollyanna-ish the best predictor of a future behavior is past behavior and past behavior on the part of the legislature has been to say the maps that they drew were the best they could do in presenting this map the hope is to say you can do better you know one of the things that they said throughout is oh there no there just aren't any other constitutional maps or oh we had to do this be, you know because of xyz the reason that we wanted to make sure that we put this model map out is it deprives the state legislature or the leadership of the excuse that a good map isn't possible. While the legislature still has nine days to come up with a map, that potentially won't be the end of this. No, if they don't actually get buy-in from enough folks, including a few, at least a few Democrats, then we are talking about, about it going to the Ohio Redistricting Commission. And the Redistricting Commission would get a fresh 30 days to do it. That would take them into mid-March, past the March 4th filing deadline to run for the seats. As of now, the primary is still set for May 3rd. Jack Kasich, News 5.